Welcome to another video in this series on how to use inhalers. And this time we'll talk about the Ellipta inhalers. So the Ellipta series of inhalers uh, are a number of inhalers. They all look the same. They all are used in the same way, but they can be called any anything from Incruz, Anoro, Relvar, Trilogy, Brio. They are different depending on where you live and depending what they contain. So some of them can have only one med type of medication, up to th two medications in some cases, or three. Okay, so it's a combination inhaler usually for asthma, for COPD, depending on what it, what the name of the product is and what it contains. So, so basically it's a range of inhalers. They're all called Ellipta something. Anoro Ellipta, Incruz Ellipta, Trilogy Ellipta, etc. Right? So regardless which one you are using, um, it's important to remember that it's a dry powder inhaler, so a DPI, so it has dust in it, okay? So it's a, the medication comes as a powder. So you have to suck in the air quite forcefully, okay, to get it, get that dust moving. So basically, it's the same principle as with the Foster next inhaler, right? Or the Ceratide we'll talk about later on, the Symbicort, all the dry powder inhalers are used pretty much the same. Okay, so you have to, to suck the air in quite forcefully, okay? But this one is again a nice device. It's quite easy to use. As you can see, it has a dose counter here. Uh, the numbers are quite low, so this is one of the devices that sometimes can only be taken once a day, okay? But you have to be regular with it. So you have to take it every day around the same time. It's generally recommended to take it in the morning. It's just because it, it seems to keep you going throughout the day. And at night, you're not doing as much, so usually you don't need it as much. Okay, so basically, if you're using one that contains corticosteroid in it, okay, look at the leaflet, the package insert. If it has one of the uh, this corticosteroid, remember to rinse after you use it. So rinse, gargle, and spit some water, okay? Uh, because you don't want that powder to be left in your throat, okay? You only want to get the powder inside this device into your lungs, deep inside your lungs, and that's it, right? So as with all the other inhalers, the principle is similar. You have to take the air out of your lungs, so that you have room to, to breathe in forcefully, deeply, to get it in the very edges of your lung, okay? So this is basically what you need to do. Now, that being said, let me demonstrate how you use this. You have this top thing, right, that opens up like this, tap, and it clicks. And it's got this air hole here, right? So the air will come in through here and come out through the mouthpiece, right, into your mouth. Right? You're going to suck the air in through here, right? So once you've... So let me do this again, right? Uh, I'll, I'll talk about this afterwards. So basically, you take this out, tap, and as it goes down, it clicks. Once it clicks, um, it's ready to use. Okay, so you can use it then. So I take the air out. And I take it and I slowly exhale. Okay, so basically, what I've done there, uh, let me just explain. I've taken the air out, put this in my mouth, sucked it forcefully in, hold, held my breath for a few seconds, and then slowly released, okay? Once I close this, it's ready to be used again. Now, important thing I didn't mention. So, uh, if you remember at the beginning of the video, I had 25 written on here. Now it's 23. What happened? What went wrong? So basically, with this inhaler, if you put this down, you can see that the indicator is going down. And as I'm, right? So as I push it here, the dose is charged. So with this one, make sure you don't do this unless you're ready to take it because you're going to lose a dose, basically. Okay? So... Once I've done that, I'm ready to use it, right? 
Take the air out. Hold and slowly exhale, but breathe in forcefully. Don't, don't forget. And once you're done, close, take some water, rinse, gargle and spit, right? So this is how you use the elliptas. They're very nice inhalers, but just don't forget, don't forget that thing. So if, you, if you're ready to use it, make sure you use it, okay? So you don't lose your doses. Uh, but usually the nice thing is, uh, about this is that you can use it once a day. So that, in most cases, so that, that's, that's fine. Okay, so just when you're ready to do it, do it. But that's how you use it, quite easy. So thank you for watching. If you like these, do, do remember to subscribe and uh, more videos are coming. All the best.